BIMI had the NEOS Bible Project in, in Indonesia uh, when the tsunami went through Indonesia. When that project was over, um, BIMI, knowing that I had established a ministry here in the islands, contacted me and asked uh, if I thought I, we could do anything here in the islands. So um, I said, yeah, we, we need to get some Bibles into uh, the country. That's, that's what these village pastors were asking for, were, were Bibles. And uh, so my thinking was that the next generation of Solomon Islanders who now are being educated in these uh, public schools throughout the islands, uh, they would be able to read uh, where that older generation of Solomon Islanders, even those in the churches, they could not read. So I just saw it as a wonderful opportunity to uh, get the Bible into the hands of, of the next generation. Sometimes people say, oh, you have to go to church to be saved. No, going to church does not get you saved. John 3.16 in this Bible says this, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. And when one is saved, what they have to do is they have to believe what Jesus did for them on the cross. Missionaries have been here for over a hundred years. Daily in the newspapers here, uh, you'll have someone uh, giving an acknowledgement to uh, a belief and a submission to God and God's Word and the principles of God's Word, even in the schools. And so uh, the provincial government over there uh, just welcomed the opportunity. You have to understand too that they have a Bible class or a scripture class. So they, they're a poor nation. They've got a class for their high school students called Bible or called scripture, but they just can't afford the textbook, <laughs> the Bible. So they welcome the, the aspect of us supplying a textbook for their Bible class. And uh, it's just been an amazing response and, and openness. Uh, to receiving it, and an excitement. They, they've, they've really anticipated uh, us coming to give them Bibles. I'd just like to say, we have all my teachers, and the Board of Management, and even the Education Department, the parents of the school. We are very happy that God has spoken to your mind, and you have listed our school to be one of the schools that you will assist with the Bibles. There is no book in the world they can come and supply it in science or English, yeah? To each students, yeah? In the school, but thank you. God has spoken to you. And God has worked in mighty things, yeah? This is great. Not only you, Fua, Fayafa, but Nafinua, Fua Manu, and all over Malaita, yeah? High schools, they will receive God's word. Melanesians, very hard to buy a Bible. They can buy a fish at the market, yeah? They can buy a pig or whatever they want to eat, yeah? But to buy the Bible, very few can do it. Yeah. Very few can do it. I am speaking out of the religion I come from. I'm in the denomination, Anglican Church. You'll never find someone go and buy a Bible, yeah? One or two can do that, yeah? But not most of them, yeah? Most of them. But to have a gift of Bible, is really giving life to someone. Amen. Giving life to someone. A Bible is a book of life. Yeah? Book of life. And now when you give a Bible to somebody, you give him life. So it's up to the students whether you get this life and you burn it, or you get this life and pack it up in your box, yeah? And never read it for your life. I'm so sorry about that, if you do that. Yeah. But thank you, Tim, with the delegation. The idea why you give the Bible to us today. Yeah. Thank you. The, the thing that stood out to me the most was one of the headmasters of the schools said, when you give us this book, you're giving us life. And because uh, this is a book of life. And the incredible value they place on it was a challenge to me 
because uh, I've got 10 or 11 sitting on my shelf, and these people have gone their entire lives without having one. I was seeing God's provision. Uh, we talked about all the different plans that Tim had in place, and, and they kept being um, changed. Every time we turned around, there'd be a new plan, and it really just showed how God was providing for us, uh, always giving us a, a way to get there. And then also when we were there, uh, keeping the rain away, you know, helping us get to all the schools that we wanted to get to in a, in a fairly easy fashion, mostly easy fashion, um, if you call it easy. Uh, some of the personal challenges I had were, um, were the, the boat ride. I think all of us would have that as a challenge, a 12 hour overnight boat ride, uh, crammed with people and, and stuff, water sloshing in, and most of us got somewhat sick. Um, and then also the, we had a, a 45 minute hike that lasted about two hours actually and we were carrying you know, maybe 50 or 60 pounds of Bibles and sloshing through mud and water and whatever else. Uh, that was just draining physically I think. Um, you know, but once we got to the end it, it was really a reward to see the students take those Bibles and to hear the stories from the teachers about not having Bibles for about 35 years. Um, it, was, it was a very big encouragement once we got there to know that what we were doing was well worth it to be able to hand those Bibles out to the students. It's been wonderful to see the character of the team members to have to do the hard yards. Um, for example, you know, we were going to get them over there by boat. Uh, some were going to come in by plane, uh, but there was a land dispute going on, so that closed the airfield down and the uh, fast boats, uh, they weren't going anymore, so we ended up on a 12-hour boat trip overnight uh, with, um, on a crowded boat, a uh, dirty crowded boat. Um, so, you know, as much as these things may be difficult, it's really been good to see the tenacity of the team members to, to be committed uh, to getting these Bibles into the hands of those students. And then, uh, you know, even the hiking, uh, uh, carrying, you know, 90 pounds, 45 kilograms of Bibles on your back, uh, and to really run out of energy and just have to stop and rest and persevere and press on, uh, it, was, it was hard work. Uh, and then to f climb that final hill and get up to the school and be able to give these Bibles out and to be welcomed, uh, you, you knew that all that hard work was worth it um, just to get the, uh, because the, the, the Bibles were wanted, they were anticipated, they, they were needed. And of course, the Bible is the Word of God, it'll do its work. And so uh, just to have the opportunity to to do that and to see um, team members persevere uh, because of a, a cause, uh, a, a godly cause, uh, has just been a real encouragement so far. And um, you know, if we continue to receive the response that, that we have so far, um, this has really been worth it. It's really been worth it. Um, probably one of the greatest experiences of my life.